Hey guys, Zalonius here. Welcome to another video on the channel. In this video today, I am doing my first post patch tactics on FC24. The biggest patch we've had this year for sure. Is it absolutely game changing? Probably not. Do we still have a lot of the similar issues? Yep. Is there still inconsistent servers and gameplays? Yep. A lot of the issues that plague FC24 aren't changing in this patch. However, Keeper movement, definitely nerfed. Finesse shots, slightly worse. You can play through the middle a little bit more. You can notice this, whereas the previous patches honestly couldn't have really told you much about them other than maybe you don't get red cards for tackles in the box every time. Um, but in general, <clears throat> there's still time to learn the new patch. Wait for a full weekend league, but those are my initial thoughts because people tend to ask me what do I think about the new patch. But I still think like Finesse plus players like that are very good. For this video, we're going to be using the 4-2-3-1. I was playing this before the patch. went 19-0 with it last weekend. And I gave it a little bit of a try for a few hours earlier today. Still very good. I don't think the meta in terms of formations is really going to change. Um, you can maybe build up a little bit more with the cam in this formation now, being able to play through the middle. But a very, very good formation. And I'm going to, this weekend, give a try to the narrow diamond, or the 4 3 one two potentially. Um, so I will put tactics out on that. I'll explain if I think that is actually good, to be fair. So here we go with the custom tactics. So as anyone knows who watches a lot of my custom tactics videos, I tend to have two versions. I have one that is the one that I start, and it's nearly always the more like balanced, balanced type style. I mean, that's a generally better way um, to start a game, in my opinion. Um, I don't think you want to go too all out. And then press after possession loss. I'll explain that more when we get there. So, 4 2 3 1. What is it good at? It's defensively very solid. It keeps the ball really well. There's players all over the pitch. So, it's very hard for people to get the ball back off you. Are you sick to death of getting out teamed on FC24? Want that God squad you've always been dreaming of? Check out iggm.com today. The best and most reliable place to get coins for your ultimate team. Use the link in the description and code ZEL at checkout for a 5% discount. Check out iggm.com today if you're good at keeping possession and patient. Um, the cam links up everyone else very well. The cam is arguably the most important person in this team. Um, I'd love to have five star week for out wide. Out wide? Well, I mean, I'd like it out wide, but up front is where it's most important. And then out wide, I definitely want pace. Talisk is a bit of a different play, if you like. We'll go look at his stats. Um, Taliska, he's not rapid, not slow either. His shot's okay. His passing's pretty good. He's great on the ball and very good physical. But his play styles are a bit different too. I just wanted to try someone a little bit different. Um, I don't really used him much on previous years. So is Taliska like the ideal um, lamb in this formation? No, I'd probably want someone a bit quicker of like a gold finesse, but that long ball is pretty damn good. It's pretty fun using that. And then for some of my other players, um, I've got finesses, got rapid with him, relentless is really good. Patelis has a very good set of play styles in general. Um, you CDMs, I like CDMs who are quick. Uh, pretty good on the ball, can shoot and get forward, because my midfield both get forward, generally speaking, in this formation. So I find, well, I just find this year midfielders in general get forward, and the ones who aren't clunky are definitely the best, in my opinion. For the tactics, very similar. I do change it up quite a bit for my 4-3-1-2, uh, which I'll be posting in the next few days. But um, these tactics, for me, have been working very well. Um, in general, I play 40 with 55 depth on a lot of fallback formations. Um, if you're wondering where the tier list, by the way, is for my attackers, I will be posting that tomorrow once we get the new Dynasty um, promo. Balanced direct passing works very good. I always... Oh, oh man, I'm so tired today. I always tend to try and use this for um, direct passing. However, a lot of you might not fully realise why you do it effectively. When you play this, it seems like you are able to just pin the opposition back. You might think, well, why would I even want to do that? So, honestly, it works really well. It's very, very effective. Um, it just seems to give you more chances and time um, to attack. A lot of people um, at high level use it. It's been used for like three or four years. Um, I wouldn't recommend it for the sake of it. It genuinely is a very good option. Um, 
you could try some other stuff. I've tried balance. I don't think it works as well. Possession and forward runs. They do have potential uses if you hybrid them with like a different build-up play. Balance, direct passing is the old trusty and faithful. That works well. Um, stay central, stay forward. Come back on defense for the cam. Get into the box on the outside cams. Now, this is something you want in there because when you put it in, it means that they actually do make runs into the penalty area. Um, a lot of people uh, think uh, you might lose some options here, but they still do float around the edge of the box. One thing I didn't say is this formation is very good for Travellers and Finesses because it just has options all over the pitch. But this makes them basically make runs in behind so you can actually stretch teams out and use the width. For the CDMs, have them on balanced, balanced cover centre. If I had someone like SN, Makalea, Oliveira, I'd probably put them on stay back. But I think two box to box who are quick and can do everything are perfect in this formation. Uh, stay back overlap on the fullback. So they do occasionally make an overlapping run, but for the most part, they will stay back and, generally speaking, provide some defensive security. For the more attacking one, it's literally the exact same except for 71 depth and press after possession loss. Drastic difference in game, though. I think 71 depth on the new patch isn't quite as effective from what I'm gathering. Um, just because there's a bit more space in the middle, you get a little bit more time on the ball. But it's still pretty oppressive, especially in bad gameplay. For the instructions, I put basic defensive support now on my cam. Instead of um, come back on all my cams, I don't have come back on any of them. And then my CDMs are the exact same. And I go balanced overlap on the fullbacks. This does make them a lot more attacking. If you really struggle to switch and cover your fullbacks when they make runs then you could potentially put this on stay back still. But it will hinder you a lot going forward. That is one of the um, big problems. Don't get me wrong, this formation doesn't need it as much as some of us. Like the narrow, you need fullbacks to overlap. If they do not make these overlapping runs, um, the narrow just doesn't get whipped. This one will, but it's basically more to give you Lamb and Ram more license to tuck in. And when you're losing, you need to have a few more attacking options. But like I said... It is a little bit of a risk, but I've explained that. That is the formation tactic. Very simple one. I'll have a qu quick look at some of the SBCs that are out at the moment. See what we think. The base hero pick, I wouldn't be bored about that. Scrinia, not bored about that. Balak, bit expensive. Lamb, not good enough for most teams now. Beckham. I was about to say, how long does he actually have left? One day, apparently. How many of you actually did that? Depay not bad, Salah, Romero. I mean, there isn't really an SBC that I look at. I'm like, yeah, definitely should do that. The uh, Aubameyang one's okay. If he had that pace and was 91-91, it'd be great. But the fact he's not, it's awful because it just means that the pace split's so bad. really hinders the card, to be honest. I like the rapid now uh, how cards like that, you can't see it here, but like arms in the air. So say a few issues with the card. Yeah, I don't know. The SBCs at the moment, they've been a little bit dead for the last, I don't know, probably a couple of weeks, to be fair. Um, there were some decent ones, I guess, during Black Friday, but nothing too special. Appreciate you guys watching this video. As always, keep it spicy. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.